Day 109. Our 40th day stuck in a biodome. Food is getting more and more scarce. Each day we venture out in the cold in hopes of finding edible plant life with little luck. The planet that once seemed so abundant is now a frozen wasteland. All signs of life have disappeared. An entire Terrian body frozen in place like that? Yeah. Probably from a distant glacier. Hey, you okay, Baines? How long do you think it's been preserving in there like that? I won't know till I do a full bioscan, but judging from its position, it looks like it froze almost instantly. Like cryogenic preservation. So it could be almost any age. <laughs> Shank and Grendler's been wailing all afternoon. Okay, everybody clear. Well, I'm gonna get in there and steady it. Let's get this piece of ice off the ground. What's his problem? Okay, Dan Zegger. Step back. Ready? All right, go slow now. Easy. Easy. All right, it's looking good down here. Nice and easy. Keep going. Tell you. Yeah, Sub Zero. We got better things to do than to haul around his ice cube. What are you suggesting we abandon it? We burn out the trans rover's winch. Let's just leave it and cut our losses, okay? Danziger, I can't ignore information about this planet. This is major. It's going to answer questions, possible disease immunities. We are here long term. Yeah, our food supply says different. We got two weeks. <sighs> Thank you. 
No food was brought to camp that day, but the body was set up in a tent outside. We called it the alien tent. Understanding this planet. Three hundred thousand years old. Yeah. What's most unbelievable is the cell structure of this Tarian. Seems to have much more in common with us. Humans? Tarians now have a more plant like composition, given that their nutrients are absorbed by osmosis and their symbiotic relationship with the planet. What does that mean? One day we'll we evolve into being more like Terrians. I don't know. But it's fascinating. Oh, my God. What do you think they're doing in there, Dad? I don't know, but unless they're planning on serving that carcass for dinner, I think they're wasting their time. Hey, Pro, if you want to go check it out, I'll help your dad, okay? Please, Dad, only be a minute. All right, go. One minute, but that's it. You hear me? Yeah. Okay. So why aren't you in there with the rest of them? I'm not much for dead things. It's definite. I'm registering a weak but very present field of electrical activity from what would be the cerebellum. But that... It is dead, correct? Mom. It's all right, Julie. It's all right. There's nothing to be afraid of. Right? No, Julie, don't be afraid. It's exciting. The preservation is so incredible. And with traces of psychic energy, if I can isolate it, maybe we can find out once and for all how they communicate through their dreams. All right, let's, uh... Let's let Julie do your work, okay? Come on. You think he died like that? Yeah, I think so. I know how he feels. Trapped. On my first cold sleep, for some reason, I woke up in my capsule five days early. And I couldn't come back to sleep. And I couldn't get out. I was locked in there, half frozen, like a coffin. I never dreamt again.
Damn. I slept bad last night. I couldn't get that frozen creature out of my head. See, Bess? Bess, it wasn't just because I was hungry. You dropped him too? Yes. All night. Nightmares. Me and the thing, we were... You were wrestling? Yes, exactly. You too? I thought it was just because I was coming down with something. It's probably from being out in the cold so long yesterday. Nah, it still doesn't explain the nightmares. Well, it could be fever-induced. And you, you saw something very frightening yesterday. But we all had the same one. And it sure didn't feel like a regular nightmare. And what about that energy field? Yeah. What if... Oh, my God, what if your dia glove didn't detect some spores from a bazillion years ago? Who knows what kind of deadly microbes could have been released? Everybody relax. Honestly, you're more childish than my daughter. I had a dream, too. It was no big deal. What you should be worried about here is how we're going to feed ourselves this time next week. I'll be loading the doom rail for a scout. Hey, Danziger. What? I just wanted to thank you for talking some sense in there. Just stop. People in there are sick and hungry. Our minds aren't working right. Don't make the mistake of thinking we're on the same team on this one. gone, the Tarion is 100% dead. Put the gun down. It's me. I'm here to spell you, okay? Well, I mean, you were supposed to call out. <laughs> You're not looking so good. What's, what's going on out here? Nothing. It's just dead out here. So shaking frigid. The wind's been playing tricks on me or something. I don't know. Energy or no energy? Ice Cube Harry in there was freaking me out. Who knows what we're defrosting in there? <laughs> I think you've been out of your pacing too long, man. <laughs> Go get some rest. <laughs> Amazingly, 60% of the tissue has been preserved. Inferences that can be drawn at this point about the creature's biology and lifestyle. First, definitely bipedal. Second, unlike Tarians that we've encountered so far, this specimen possesses a spinal column and multiple vertebra. And although more diminutive, residual muscle tissue still indicates great strength. Hi. Is he gonna come alive? He? Well, first of all, it's neither he nor a she. And second of all, I hate to disappoint everyone, but no, it's not coming alive. It's dead.
It's the radiometer. What did you do to it? Nothing. I just found it there. Right, has anybody been in the tent? Uh, maybe somebody knocked it off the table accidentally. This is not an accident. Someone did this. I don't think this thing could be salvaged. They broke the monitor, too. I'll get Danziger. All right, let's not make a bigger deal out of this than we have to. Things do break around you all the time. Yeah, but I'm telling you, it was spooky out there. Look, Baines felt it, too. The wind and that Grindler howling. Maybe the Grindler destroyed it. I don't think so. I mean, the Grindler seemed pretty far away. I felt more like it was trying to warn me or something. Well, you were the one out there, Wallman. Why don't you tell us what really happened? What are you getting at? Why would I want to vandalize the gear? I don't know. You tell me. More than please. Maybe I'll just say it was you out there, Wallman. It's a problem, people. <laughs> Say All right, it. here's what we're going to do. Wallman, Solace, Cameron, Julia. I want everybody armed. We're going to go outside. We're going to look for Baines. A preliminary search of the immediate camp. Everybody else, stay inside. Why we want you inside, man, where it's safe. How do I know where safe is? Baines? Baines, everything's going to be OK. Now, maybe, uh, maybe you can help us. When you were on sentry, did you go into the alien tent, maybe, maybe bump into the lab table accidentally? You couldn't drag me near that tent, Devin. Baines, there's nothing to be concerned about. Oh, no? Then what about that Grinlin? I mean, Grindlers just don't implode like that, Yale. There's seriously something out there. All right, then why don't you come out and go inside where it's warm? If that's where you feel safe, Devin, you go. I'm staying right here. Vehicle secure. What's happening? What's he doing out there? He's fine. Baines is fine. Just very frightened. Somehow he feels safe in a trans rubber right now. It's that frozen carcass out there, isn't it? We should get rid of it. Look, a lot of weird things have happened since we got to this planet. We don't know that all these things are connected. And that carcass out there is of vital importance to our existence here. Right. Let's not jump to conclusions, OK? It's been a, a very long day. We're all tired. Why don't we try and get some rest? We'll deal with this in the morning, OK? Devin's right. It's late. I'll have a better picture in the morning. How are we supposed to sleep knowing there might be something out there? Everything will be OK, Morgan. We'll all stay in here tonight. body is gone. I've just been in there, and there's tracks in the snow. It's not there. Julia, my dad's gone. Hey! Hey, what's going on out there? Hey, did you see anything? Do you 
know where Danziger is. You know what happened to the Tarian body? What are you talking about? I didn't see anything. I fell asleep. Mom Baines, no more games. Have you seen Danziger? Hey, I didn't see Jack Squat. No, you guys just stay back. Stay back. Show us those tracks, Julian. Smell that? Oh. There, there. Something's burning. Oh God, it's awful. Don't breathe too deeply. Let's go. Everything's okay now. I burned it. Batarian didn't belong with us. I'm sorry, Julia. But I had to go. Now we can all get some sleep. Why is it so freezing in here? Something destroyed the generator last night. Our backup's only at 50% and it's dropped 25 degrees in here already. And none of our crew seems to have had anything to do with it. Just another coincidence, Julia? Or are you finally going to admit that the Iceman shouldn't have come in? Look, we don't even have the body anymore. Danziger destroyed it for us last night. Hey, everyone. Julia knows that people are frightened and that there might be something out there that's terrorizing us, but please... But what? What, what could it be? I don't know. I know it's not the ashes of the creature getting together and... But what if it was the Terrians? Perhaps by excavating that grave, we disturbed a local tribe. <laughs> I certainly would be perturbed if I heard that someone had dug up my grandfather. Where are you going, Adair? Alonzo's not getting anything from the Terrians. No information, nothing. He can't even reach them. Yeah, so? So? We can't just sit here waiting until whatever's out there decides to attack one of us. Uh, and what exactly do you think is out there? Penal colonists? Council operative, maybe? No, I think we've upset the balance of nature somehow. And I think we're in danger. You must have felt the same way, too. Otherwise, why would you have burnt that corpse last night? So what do we do? You want to come with me? Check the coordinates. We still got a ways, as far as I can tell. Rail's not getting any sun. We're just gonna make it back to camp as it is with the power we got. It's this way. We're gonna have to go by foot. Come on. Coordinates. I don't recognize it, do you? I don't know. I don't remember. I dare camp. Dare to camp, Alonzo. Do you read me? Yeah, I think we're in the right vicinity. Coordinates are 20 north, 17 west. Do we match? Alonzo? Wait a minute. Alonzo? I think we're in oh, the right place. You shouldn't have come in through the mountain entrance. Lucky you found you at all. 
The elders were expecting you. We were hoping you'd come back. Devon. Hi. Oh, it's good to see you. John? How are you, sir? Missed you. But that's not why you're here. How do you know? Look at you. You're terrified. Something very wrong has happened. Now tell me what it is. Okay. Well, two days ago, a scouting trip from our camp went out to forage for food. And our doctor, Julia, discovered what seemed to be an ancient Tarian frozen in a block of ice. We think it was 300,000 years old. She excavated it and brought it back to our camp. You brought it back? Believe me, against my wishes. Well, she thought that the scientific knowledge that could be gained from it would be invaluable. And what did you discover? Something about its biology. It was very similar to ours. And, and there was some kind of energy within it. What, some kind of life, do you mean? I guess. Uh, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. And then very strange things started to happen. What sort of things? Instruments smashed. Granular ripped open right outside our camp. Our generator was destroyed. Do you have any idea what this could be or who could be causing this? I mean, could it possibly be the Terrians and maybe they're angry that we excavated the body? No. The Terrians wouldn't want anything to do with that body. What do you mean? Well, eons ago, the Terrians were much more individuated than we know them today. They were subject to, to passion, to rage, emotions. The Terrians believed that all these primordial aspects of their being were frozen into one single Terrian who was swallowed by the Earth. What do you mean swallowed? Just as it sounds. I thought it was folklore traded by the Grendlers, this tale of one single Terrian whom the Earth took back. Grendler was trying to warn us. Where is the body now? We, we, we must have it. Uh... Danziger cremated it. They couldn't stay with us. It was driving us crazy. And, and the, the energy from this body, you destroyed that too? No, uh, actually, it, it was gone yesterday, be, before all these strange things started to happen. Why? What if it's not gone? Well, you, th you think this energy just picked up all by itself and eviscerated a granular? I think the energy is searching for a new host. You see, the Grendler couldn't contain it. It must have found another form. What, a human form? Someone in your group. You know that since we got here, I don't think I've ever felt so isolated. Everyone's out there guarding themselves. Yale's practically holding the children prisoner. <sighs> You're not giving in to this paranoia yourself, are you? Because if you are, you can always curl up next to Baines in the trans rover. I feel it's best to take precautions. Thank God you made it safely. Did you find out anything? Get everybody together. We got an announcement to make. Okay, everybody, here's the situation. We have reason to believe that the psychic energy field from the Tarian corpse has somehow found a host. A host? One of us. What do you mean, another host? One of us, Martin. <laughs> That's Sir. ridiculous. No, it's not. Now, we have to go about this simply and methodically. Now, Dan has devised a way to test for the presence of the psychic energy field amongst us. Oh, the radiometer's smashed. I figured a way to jerry-rig it. Wait a second. Are you saying that one of us is possessed and walking around? Or locked in the trans rover? It's hard to even tell if this person is even aware that the psychic energy is within them. I don't know. I mean, Baines wouldn't have locked himself in mm. if he weren't feeling something. Everybody, please, please stay calm. Everybody is getting tested. What? That includes Baines, even if I have to drag him out of the trans rover myself.
Would you stop that, Cameron? Oh, God. What if it is me? You'd lock me up, right? You'd, you'd make sure that I didn't hurt anyone. Or worse, hurt myself. Huh? Um, it's not me. I don't think so. I'd know. Are you sure that thing's even accurate? No one's trying to hurt anyone, Morgan. We are just trying to determine who's got it so we can help them. Huh. Is that why he's got that set of derm in his belt over there? To help? Is that part of the plan? I got no plans for you, man. Oh, thank you for cooperating, Morgan. You're clear. I am. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, I knew it couldn't be me. Thanks very much. Good luck. And, uh, thanks. I, I need some water. Morgan. Okay, come on. Thanks. What do you think? What should I know? Let's just pretend. Radio armor didn't really work. Just wish I could have fixed the damn thing. I was just afraid it'll be able to smoke out whoever actually is the host. He didn't seem any different than the Morgan Martin we've come to know and love. Let's bring in solace. Hey, not so close. Give me some breathing room, okay? Take it easy, buddy. We're all on the same team here. I'm not the only one who had dreams about him, you know? You have any of the dreams, Danziger? No. Why are you so keyed up, man? Is there something you want to tell us, Alonzo? What do you think I'm keyed up? One of us has been turning some freakish mutant. Come on. You're the one with the psychic connection to the Tyrians. Why don't you remind us of your dream? Maybe it'll help us out a little bit. I told you everything I know. The thing came at me and we wrestled. What? This isn't good, man. Getting some kind of reading here. Well, what are you saying? You think it's working, Danziger? You think you're proving something? You're proving nothing. It's not me. I'm not the one. This meter doesn't lie, pal. Just relax. Just relax. We're here to help. It's you. You're the one. Devin, get away. It's him. Devin, the sedator now. Alonzo, it's okay. We're not going to hurt it's you. It's not me. You're in danger. Alonzo, he doesn't want to hurt you. Can't go, he's got a knife. I'm warning you, don't come any closer. I mean, Devin, look at him. Look at him. Julius, please, please, please tell him to drop Julius the knife. Julius Dansker, he's got it inside him. Keep him away. Please put down the knife. We're all very scared. Oh, my God. I'll come on back to camp. I found his prints heading northeast, but they disappeared in the snow without any heat traces. Northeast, that's where we were yesterday. That's where the elder is. Must be headed there to silence him. Check the charge in the rail. If I leave now, I should be able to cut him off. What are you planning to do to him? You're going to find him, right? I plan on helping him, Julia. But this thing inside Alonzo's made him capable of vandalizing this camp and attacking me. Force may be the only thing this demon understands. Danziger's right. If we don't protect ourselves, this thing will take us like it took Alonzo. If it exists, how do we know the Elder was right? Well, how else do you explain what's happened? The Grendlers or penal colonists could have done any of it. Then why did Alonzo run? Why don't you just let John go find him, okay? Fine. I'm going with him. No, I won't allow this crew to get taken over one by one. It's Sub-Zero out there. He's going to need medical attention. I'm need your help. I'll call you. Otherwise, you're just risking yourself for no reason. John. Julia's right, Alonzo may need her help. She's going with you, and so am I. Now let's go. Please, someone!
come? Another four kilometers. We're gonna get them, right? I can feel it. Julia, make sure that set of derms ready. I've never seen you like this, John. Like what? I just don't want you to confuse rescuing Alonzo with hunting an animal. This thing is an animal, Devin. It's worse than that. It'll destroy us all if we let it. Oh, he wants you dead. Because he knows you're the only one who can kill him. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you, Alonzo. How can I kill him? I don't even know what he is. I sensed it. The moment you entered. It's no accident you and the demon have come face to face. What? The Terrians tell me that your skills on the dream plane are stronger than any human they've ever known. Why can the Terrians fight him? They lack aggression. It's not in their nature to fight one of their own. I still don't understand what this has to do with me. You must battle with the demon on the dreamscape. It's where he controls your friend. And it's where you must challenge him. Challenge him? How can I beat him? He'll kill me. He already tried that once when I was sleeping. But he didn't yet succeed. And if I can't... There's no more time. He's here. John? John? What? You're going the wrong way. The Elder's Chamber's this way. John, but the demon won't die. Somehow I knew. The only way to fight the demon's anger was to release my own. I could let go and be free. 
so the planet's power flowed through me. Lonzo, is that you? I think so. Uh. Help me. No. No. <laughs> what hurts? Everything. So we returned to camp, Danziger remembering nothing about the time the demon was inside him. We had to tell him everything. Sam, I'm sorry. Appreciate what you did for me. Forget about it. You would have done the same for me. You know what? I wouldn't have. I couldn't. 